Good Saturday morning, everyone. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Leah Murphy. We had a few showers and storms move through the area yesterday, and now we're kind of left with some cooler and gloomy conditions as we head through the rest of the day today. We're going to be looking at mainly overcast skies. The chance for an isolated shower not out of the question, but I do think most of us stay dry today. And temperatures are only going to be getting up into the middle and upper 50s to around 60 degrees, with the Berkshires actually being the warmer spot of the day. Now, as we head into the overnight hours, the cloud cover looks to give way to partly cloudy skies. Temperatures fall through the 40s, but then the cloud cover begins to work back in as we head into the day on Sunday. And we do once again look at a mainly overcast and cool day for Sunday with the chance for a quick little shower as we head into the afternoon. Temperatures will be getting into the lower 60s as we head through the rest of the week. We do maintain daily shower chances as we head through the rest of the week, and that's just because we are dealing with a bit of an upper level low. We start to trend drier and warmer as we head towards the end of the week and into next weekend. Let's check in with today's top headlines with Glenn. Good morning, Glenn. Good morning, Liam, and good morning, everyone. I'm Glenn Kittle, and this is your latest news update from Western Mass News. In Amherst yesterday, crews spent much of the afternoon tackling a large barn fire. This was the scene when the Western Mass News crews first arrived. Crews from Amherst Fire Department battling the flames for hours alongside Hadley. Northampton and Pelham Fire Departments we were told the barn is home to a number of cows that have been taken elsewhere. And three Western Mass YMCA employees have now been charged with theft of state funds that were intended for domestic violence victims. These women appeared in Springfield District Court last month and are accused of stealing more than $28,000 from the nonprofit organization. The three suspects have all pled not guilty. They're scheduled to appear in court for a pretrial hearing on July 14th. And 23-year-old Brian Camp of Southampton pled not guilty yesterday in connection to the shooting and death of a Northampton man. Those have been your Western Mass News headlines. Have a great rest of your morning.